Hey everyone, this is Michael of Spirit Comics. Welcome to my channel. This will be my new comic book day haul video for January 15th, 2020. If you're new here, please do subscribe and also click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Also, if you enjoy this video or any of my videos on my channel, Please do drop them a like and share them around. And I do want to thank all of you who have subscribed to my channel recently and all those who continue to leave comments. That is very encouraging to me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now, before I get into my comic book haul, I want to show you this. You're probably saying, Michael, what's the big deal about this? It's just a bag. Well, yes, it is a bag. But it's a Marvel Comics bag. You're thinking, so? What, man? It's, a, well, it's also a bag that has classic artwork on it. Thor! Spider-Man! The Incredible Hulk! Iron Man! And down here you can see Captain, Captain America. It has a Velcro snap on it. And what's it for? Well, in this day and age, the majority of us carry around cell phones. You know, they're 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 little computers. And I do as well. I have one. Oh, I wish you could see my wallpaper because it is just so you know it's so, it's so good <laughs> that's not important but when you go somewhere if you're going to be at, at a place for an extended period of time you may need your charger to keep your phone powered up and this is what I carry in this bag is my charger and also my earbuds are tangled up there and I just slide my phone down there and fasten the velcro and I'm set to go now if you may be wanting one of these well I'm sorry I doubt you can find any like this unless you know someone who's good at sewing I say that because my mother is the one who made this she bought the pattern you know that she bought this pattern she bought the strap the strap she made it for me she made one for a good friend of mine John Horst who is the owner of Purple Earth Comics here in Huntington West Virginia I gave it to him many months ago because he always seemed to be laying his cell phone down in the shop and then forgetting where he put it so I gave one to him so he could always have it around around right around him and have his phone here so he would never lose it all right now on to the comic books I bought for a new comic book day January 15th 2020 oh. this is my haul first off from Marvel, this is True Believers, the incredibly insane Mandarin. If you're not sure what this is, well, inside it'll say that it reprints content, for, it will reprints, uh, you know, stories from tales of suspense, issues 
50 and 55. What I love about True Believers is they reprint stories from decades ago, long before I was born. Next up, from DC Comics, He-Man and Masters of the Universe. I mean, <laughs> Masters of the Multiverse. <coughs> Excuse me. Number three. At first I thought that was Batman there facing off against him, but it's not. It's a really cool cover. And next up is a facsimile. $3.99. There's something I really love about these facsimiles. DC Comics got onto this uh this train a little bit late except they do something that Marvel Comics does not this is a reprint of Detective Comics number 359 the first appearance of Batgirl meet the new Batgirl is she heron or villainous? What is her startling secret identity? The million dollar debut of Batgirl! So, for any of you who are trying to get some keys and you're having, you know, key issues and you're having trouble finding them, facsimiles like this can be good to fill in the gaps. And look here on the back. It says how to get a model motor racing set for Christmas. This is an old advertisement that was orig that originally came print on the back of this very comic book. That's right. They, uh, if I if I recall, yes. All right, all right, here it is. DC Comics goes the extra mile and they reprint old advertisements inside these facsimiles. That's what is missing from the True Believers Mar line from Marvel Comics. They put in advertisements for their own trade paperbacks and other current advertisements. They don't do that I don't think they uh, reprint, you know, the the old advertisements. Now, maybe in their their own facsimiles they do. I'm not sure. Next up from DC is Crisis on Infinite Earths, 100 page giant number one. Now, what's good about these 100 page giants? is sometimes they have one or two new stories this one has two new stories although I'm not exactly sure how this one's going to the first one's going to play out Crisis on Infinite Earths part one featuring Felicity Smoke and it says all new in there so it's a new story now I have a little gripe with this. It reprint that that, that this is, it's a gripe on my end, but it might might not be bad for for everyone. See, a while back, DC Comics reprinted Crisis on Infinite Earths number one as a dollar comic. Well, they reprint the very same issue in here. Now, for those who missed the reprint uh, that came out a, a few months back, then you might want to get this because it has uh, some new stories in that first issue. In that first issue, also this reprints Crisis on Infinite Earths number seven as well. Next up. From DC is a dollar comic, The Batman Adventures number 12, 
first appearance of Harley Quinn in comic books. I never collected the Batman Adventures, so this is a, a first for me. And what I like about it, this is the same art style that as used in uh, Batman the Animated Series. All right, now I'm going going into some books that some of you probably have not heard of before. These are from a company called Alterna Comics. First off is ICYMI number 11. ICYMI stands for In Case You Missed It. This is a reprint of Mr. Crypt number 2. And they have their own box Alright, but of course this one doesn't have any art in it. But ICYMI is 99 cents. Just 99, just 99 cents for 20 pages or about 20, 20 or 21 pages, I think. And they reprint, they, they, excuse me, they print on newsprint. That's right. You know, like how DC Comics and Marvel Comics used to do. Next up from Alterna is ICYMI number 12, reprinting Eden number 1, which is a sci fi uh, um, superhero fantasy type story. And I'm not sure if you can see this up here in the box art, but it says, Great for people who love comics. They, and I would add to that, Great for people who love comics and love great storytelling, but don't have a, a but don't want to spend a whole lot of money because, you know, they here's some interior art they price their comics reasonably some more interior art now we got we got to see some real uh, some actual box art from alternate comics this is Gods and Years number two in a four issue limited series. And see, Alternate Comics, they, to my knowledge, don't do ongoing series. Well, they might have one or two, I'm not sure. But mo the majority of them are, you know, compo are, are just, you could, you could say they're, they're arcs. And. That, that that are contained in a, a few issues of a comic book. This one, by the way, is a dollar fifty for the same for basically for half of what you pay for comics. Each week, you could buy several alternate comics. The next up from alternate comics is The Adventures of Mr. Krypton Baron Rat, number three in a three issue limited series. I believe that I missed number two. I, so I'm going to have to get, get my, get John down to Purple Earth Comics to order it for me. I like the cover. Sleigh Bells Ring. And this is a an all ages type of book. You know, whereas some are not. I would say perhaps 
Well, I'll show you something that probably isn't uh, all ages. Next up is Midnight Mystery City of Ghosts number four in a four issue series. This is this is of course a mystery with uh, suspense, supernatural elements mixed in, and there's their own box art. It says here down there, down there at the bottom, Devil of a Time. And next up is the Alterna Comics Anthology series called It Came Out on a Wednesday and at the top it says Horror, Sci-Fi, and Fantasy Comics Magazine. Now I do believe that they're, in my personal opinion, they're, It Came Out on Wednesday co covers are getting better. This is $1.99. I believe because it came out on a Wednesday is an anthology series meaning it's a, it's an ongoing series but there are di several different stories inside each issue like uh, let me see, uh, let's see. one two three four five Mm. Uh, I think uh, five or seven story, uh, stories are in there. <coughs> Pardon me. They're not extremely long stories, but they're long enough for just to give you a taste of what their creators are like. And next up is Psycho KO Volume 2 Issue 3 in a 3 issue limited series for $1.50. Now if you're wondering what this is like, well Psycho KO is an all ages book and the best way I can describe it is if you recall the Scooby-Doo where are you uh, show uh, uh, episodes from the 1970s you know Scooby Scooby-Doo where are you that's what uh, Psycho KO is like very light-hearted and all also, you know, very, very humorous. I personally like the the all ages books better. Now, from uh, Marvel Comics, Jane Foster Valkyrie number seven. This is a variant cover. It's a very beautiful variant cover. Personally, I am glad that she got her own comic book I am and I, I really do like that cover it's awesome you know, even though they, they don't have their box art anymore you can still go and find, and find box art on other types of comic books now this one sort of li sort of a, has a box art on it. This is True Believers of the Criminally Insane Gypsy Moth. Where flies the Gypsy Moth? This is a reprint of Spider Woman number 10. I have this issue. And I showcased it when I did my Tricon re. Tricon haul and recap video a while back. Tricon was the co comic convention here in Huntington, West Virginia, but it was uh, sold to another company. There's going to be uh, another convention taking its place, which will last two days, whereas Tricon was only one day. However, that's probably going to mean that the price will go up, but you know that's to be expected. 
and who knows what I'll find this year but yeah the, the this uh, you know the, this reprints the the comic in like it was originally published but it does insert you know advertisements for trade paperbacks that didn't exist at the time okay two more from DC Comics I'm not sure if you're familiar with anime or a company called Rooster Teeth but a few months ago DC Comics released a comic book for Ruby which is an anime that Rooster Teeth puts out and this is the main cover and it's I know it's RWBY it's everybody refers to it as Ruby because each letter stand is the is the first name of each member of Team Ruby very 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 nice and the variant cover for a ruby number four very beautiful now if you're wondering why DC Comics had that uh, reprinted that uh, Bat the Batman Adventures number 12 dollar comic this is most likely why because Harley Quinn is going to have her another movie coming out this February as it says here down here Birds of Prey but Batgirl is not going to be in it although she is the one who formed the Birds of Prey team so that may be why she why they reprinted a, the detective comics issue now I have one more item to show you yes I do Thunder Thunder, Thundercats! Ho! Now, if you are if you were alive in the 1980s, and if you were a kid, you most likely watched ca cartoons. And if you watched cartoons, then you most likely watched Thundercats. This is Tigra, one of the mem one of the, one of the members of the Thundercats team got him just the other day I will do a review on him soon I'm not sure if I'll take him out of the package or not but I wanted to shut him off since I did get to bring it bring him home yes he is it he, he he is a good looking action figure. So that's all I have for this week. What did you guys get this week? Did you buy any of the comic books that I did? Or did you buy any action figures? Let me know down in the comments. And before I forget, there's one more thing I wanted to share with you. There's a a a, 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 new, a new person who's making videos, and this is her page. Flutterby989. I've watched uh, I think five of her videos so far. They're short videos, but hey. I really I I really enjoy him. She has uh, 22 subscribers, so go on over there and you know drop a line, say hi, subscribe if you and subscribe if you enjoy her, her content because that's what we need to do as what I'm going to call the 
true comic book community is show each other love by exposing you know new channels to each other telling each other about creators about new people who are on the scene and you know some people do this as a hobby some people do it as a to make a living but hey it doesn't matter why you do it as long as you enjoy yourself well that's it for my video for my comic book call for January 15th 2020 if you're new to my channel please do subscribe and I thank all of you who have subscribed lately and all of you who are have left uh, comments on my videos that is very encouraging to me yes it is if you like this video please drop it a thumb a thumbs up or if you give it to that would be great but I know you can't <laughs> and share and share it around and any of my videos that you that you like you know give them a thumbs up and share them around because that will help my channel greatly I thought thank you so much for that may all your news be good news ladies and gentlemen I am Michael for spirit comics till next time true readers